The situation is urgent, so I'll get straight to the point. Kachina is undoubtedly a hero of Natlan, and I'm deeply sorry this ha There's been unrest in the Night Kingdom, but I don't know what's causing it. As a result, I've been unable to track down her location. Until we find and address the cause of the unrest, the Ode of Resurrection will continue to be ineffective. And that means Kachina won't be able to come back? That's correct. Not until the problem with the Night Kingdom is resolved. How long will that take? It's hard to say. Kachina always dreamed of fighting the Abyss. Of doing her part to defend. She wasn't afraid of death because she knew if it came whenever we sat down together, exhausted from training, she would always hum the Ode of Resurrection. She was supposed to come back to us. We were supposed to hug her and celebrate with her and share her joy. We supported her every step of the way, but what are we supposed to do now? Sit peacefully and wait for her return? Lose ourselves in grief over her death? Tell me, are we her friends? Or her murderers? That's not fair, Mulani. It's all right. I understand your rage and your grief. Kachina's life means a great deal to me, Mualani. Believe me, I want to bring her back as soon as possible. I would give you that peace of mind if I could. But please, hear what I have to say so I can at least give you a broader picture of the issue we are now facing. Considering the recent attack on your tribe, I believe the Abyss has found a new means of undermining the rules of our nation. You mean... The Sacred Flame. The foundation of our resistance against the Abyss. If we continue to hold the pilgrimage and send teams to fight the Abyss, there will likely be more casualties. But if we stop altogether, the Sacred Flame will only grow weaker. The Abyss will scale up their attacks, and the tragedy we saw with the people of the Springs will only be the first of many. If we compare the two choices, the former seems to be the lesser of two evils. <sighs> Sorry, I know that may sound harsh, but I bear the name Malipo. Weighing the costs is my duty. The raw truth can be cruel. But we need to understand it if we want to approach this rationally. But what would you say, Mulani? This is personal for you, and unlike Kanich, I dare say it's not a simple case of weighing up which course of action is less painful, is it? No. I can't choose between them, and I don't want to. Saying that one is preferable over the other is disrespectful to the people who s hmm. You're saying it doesn't matter whether I suspend the pilgrimage. The consequences will be equally painful. Yes. What happened to Kachina breaks my heart. But I couldn't bring myself to sacrifice other people for her sake. And that is the crux of the problem. It's not simply a matter of choosing the lesser of two evils. Either way, there will be people who suffer. And the end result will be the same. Belief in the pilgrimage will waver. Once doubt has crept in, the people will no longer unite in battle against the Abyss. And that is exactly what the Abyss want. Their ultimate goal isn't to break the rules that make the Ode of Resurrection work. It's to destroy the people's faith in them. To prevent what happened to Kachina from happening to anyone else, we need to suspend the pilgrimage. So that is my current plan. Then, we have to find another way of strengthening the Sacred Flame to keep the Abyss at bay. This won't be easy. I'll need time to figure out the best approach. I understand your anger, Mualani, but I hope that provided some clarity, at least. Wow. Hyman thought things were gonna get heated for a second, but the Pyro Archon- I owe you an apology, Archon. I let myself get carried away earlier, and I'm sorry. We could always hold the pilgrimage without sending a team to fight in the Night Warden Wars. That way, we would still be able to fuel the city. I've considered that, but the two events have nearly always been linked. Without the chance to fight the Abyss, pilgrimage rankings lose their prestige, and competitor numbers will drop. With fewer participants, the amount of contending fire produced will decrease, and the vicious cycle will continue indefinitely. So, essentially, the Abyss has taken Kachina hostage. 
You've learned about the concept of ley lines during your travels, yes? The Night Kingdom is... Staying there for a short period of time shouldn't have an effect on the person. But with the Abyss in the picture, it's a different story. Your sense of self will be devoured until eventually you become one with the Sea of Souls. Imagine pouring a cup of water into a rushing river. You can try to scoop up another cup, but there's no chance it will be the same water you had before. I won't sugarcoat it. That is the danger Kachina is currently facing. Just like you said, Archon. Both of these problems need to be addressed. You can focus all your efforts on dealing with the Sacred Flame. I will go search for Kachina. The Abyss poses the same threat to you as it does to her. It is very possible you will not return. Knowing that, do you still choose to go? Kachina's waiting for us to rescue her. That's all that matters. I failed to protect her during our campaign. But I can make it up to her now. I choose to go as well. Um, Traveler? What do you think? Understood. Then I'll support you in any way I can. The Masters of the Nightwind have a technique that can extract an ancient name from the Ley Lines. If we can find Kachina's ancient name, I can use the link between them to pinpoint her position within the Night Kingdom. Then comes the hard part. You need to visit the Night Kingdom in person and rescue her. But isn't the Night Kingdom a land of souls? Can we even go there? Under normal circumstances, only the consciousness can enter. But there is a way to go there in person. However, know that the Night Kingdom will attempt to repel you, and the Abyss certainly won't leave you be. That's fine by me. Same here. Fighting the Abyss is nothing new for me. So, uh, Paimon's the only one who- Seat Lolly of the Masters of the Nightwind once created an artifact that can be used to communicate with the Wild. We call it the Spirit Speaker Stone. It was originally used as a ceremonial artifact wielded by the tribal chiefs. But that spiritual quality also means it can be used to search for an ancient name. That was the artifact I delivered to the Scions of the Canopy a few days ago. Didn't think I'd be hearing about it again so soon. Thank you so much for your help, everyone. Your thanks are unnecessary. I will offer you whatever aid I can, but your fellowship and courage are what will truly decide the success. <laughs> Besides, you're the ones helping me. I... <sighs> Traveler, I certainly didn't expect our first conversation to be so serious. I've heard all about your accomplishments. Ever since you arrived, I've been hoping to meet you and offer you Natlin's highest level of hospitality. 